senhores não rebentam, é bem estranho. Não rebenta, mas vá no chão. Vai para essa zona, tipo, para a OE. Fala em português? Não, ah, fala em In inglês. So we came to see the uh, Zidlum, which means a uh, it's a kind of a, how do you say Zid? What's Zidlum in English? I don't know. Yeah, it's a bunch of housing <laughs> um, from Brunotaut, It was a German architect. I'm not sure from when it is, like the 20th or something. Or the, yeah, probably around. We will check. And. Yeah, it was in a time where modern architecture was growing and it has some nice features, so we will look at it. kind of cool if you think that it was made in the 20s or 30s I guess no no not in the 30s possibly not <coughs> so it's quite peaceful here it is you can hear the birds and people are hanging around outside, dogs are running, so actually it shows some really thought plan about what should be the outside of a housing um, quartier, like a, a neighborhood. Another thing that I think we can see here, it's the some some of the propositions of the modern architecture that started in the early 20s and in the 30s uh, that's that some hygiene should be uh, possible in the apartments uh, and for this there should be light and there should be hair passing through and it's also something good to have contact with the exterior and now it probably doesn't look like much because now we are used to it but at that time it was really a big step in uh, thinking of housing because people were just living like 10 people in maybe one room there was no separation between the room of the parents and the room of the kids probably also not uh, not probably yeah very possibly there was not toilets at the time so to create or to actually to propose housing that add all of this it would it was a, a major step so there's also some kind of uh, uh, openness to it which I find really, really nice. Another funny thing about it, I think it's just the, the use of the materials and this, like, these holes in the facade that are the balconies are also uh, with this blue, which I think is very graphic and probably very modern at, at that time. It was also the time that Bauhaus was created, so Another, actually sorry that I'm just turning around, another funny thing, you see there, the corner, you see the front of the house is white with this um, blue stripe on the top, but 
here this part is already something else I think this means this shows that there was some kind of uh, uh, well thought plan about how you want your facades to look like Thank you. 